Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Sight, I am your host Stardust, let us explore the process of civilization together. Today we will continue to explore the development process of ancient human civilization, our topic is another ancient civilization, Indus Civilization. The Indus Civilization, was a Bronze Age civilization in the northwestern regions of South Asia, lasting from 3300 BC to 1300 BC and in its mature form 2600 BC to 1900 BC. Also known as the Harappan Civilization or the Indus Valley Civilization. It is one of the earliest urban civilizations in the world, coeval with Mesopotamian civilization and ancient Egyptian civilization. It existed between about 3300 BC and 1300 BC. And its peak period was from 2600 BC to 1900 BC. In fact, we know very little about the actual history of ancient India. Today we can only imagine its past glory through grand urban ruins and archaeological discoveries, Indus Valley Civilization, also known as Harappa Culture and Indus Valley Civilization by Europeans, was an ancient civilization in the Bronze Age of South Asia from about 3300 BC to 1300 BC. It flourished between 2600 BC and 1900 BC. The ancient Indian civilization was roughly the same period as the Sumerian civilization. When it declined, the ancient Babylonian kingdom had just emerged. When it ended, China was experiencing the transition of the Shang and Zhou dynasties. The Indus Valley Civilization originated later than the Mesopotamia Civilization and the Nile River Basin Civilization, but it should be slightly earlier than the Shang dynasty in China. These four are tied as the four ancient civilizations we often call them now. Archaeological experts have discovered the ruins of two ancient cities, Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, in the Indus and Sarasvati river basins. They have also discovered a large number of stone tools, bronzes, seals and crop relics. The urban population is estimated to have reached more than 40,000 people. Let's first talk about the origins of the Indus Valley Civilization, the ancestors of the Indus Valley Civilization may have been ancient Iranians who migrated from what is now Iran. They had a common origin with humans in northeastern Turkey, but had separated before the emergence of agriculture, the population of the Indus Valley Civilization may have been composed of multiple different races and groups, some of which were local aborigines, and some of which were later immigrants or invaders. There were varying degrees of genetic exchange and cultural integration between them, the ethnic structure of the Indus Valley Civilization may have changed over time and region. It is generally believed that the populations in the north and west retained more of the characteristics of ancient Iranians. While the populations in the south and east were more mixed with other people. Characteristics of the human race the ethnic origins and structural composition of the Indus Valley Civilization are of great significance to understanding the diversity and complexity of its culture, language, religion and society, and are also of great value to exploring its connections and influences with other civilizations. Western scholars believe that the inhabitants of the Indus Valley Civilization were mainly the local Dasa people, who were Dravidians. The Dravidians are indigenous to the Indian subcontinent, but after the invasion of the Aryans, the Indian subcontinent, they gradually moved southward and were solidified into the lower class by the caste system established by the Aryans. The political, economic, military, cultural and artistic aspects of the Indus Valley Civilization have the following characteristics, in terms of politics, the Indus Valley Civilization did not leave any clear evidence of kingship or state, and no buildings symbolizing power such as palaces or temples were found. However, there were some large public buildings, such as warehouses, baths, dams, etc., indicating the existence of a certain social organization and management. The Indus Valley Civilization had a wide scope and included many regions and cities, the most famous of which were Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, which may have been the center or capital of the civilization, or they may have been independent city-states. The political structure of the Indus Valley Civilization may have been a loose alliance or federation, with decision-making made jointly by chiefs or elders in various places, in terms of economy, the Indus Valley Civilization was based on agriculture, planting crops such as barley, wheat, 
cotton, melons, and dates, and utilized irrigation systems and water conservancy projects to ensure agricultural production. The Indus Valley Civilization also developed animal husbandry in domesticated elephants, buffalo, zebu, shorthorn cattle, poultry, pigs, camels, and other animals. Among them, elephants and buffalo may have been used for agricultural labor, while zebu and shorthorn cattle may have been used in milk and meat production. The handicraft industry of the Indus Valley Civilization was also very developed, producing various handicrafts such as pottery, bronzes, ironware, jewelry, textiles, etc. Among them, cotton spinning was the characteristic and innovation of the Indus Valley Civilization. The trade of the Indus Valley Civilization was also very prosperous. It not only conducted extensive exchanges internally, but also conducted trade with external civilizations, such as Mesopotamian civilization, Egyptian civilization, Afghanistan, Myanmar, and even ancient China. Various commodities were exported, such as gold, silver, copper, lapis lazuli, turquoise, muscovite, ivory, etc. The Indus Valley civilization had a system of weights and measures and a mysterious writing system that may have been used for business and management records and communication. In terms of military affairs, the Indus Valley Civilization did not leave any clear evidence of military organization or weapons, and no signs of war or violence were found, indicating that it was a peaceful civilization that was not subject to external aggression or internal conflicts. Although the cities of the Indus Valley Civilization had walls, they were probably to protect against floods or wild beasts rather than to defend against enemies. There are no war-related images on the seals of the Indus Valley Civilization, such as chariots, bows and arrows, swords, etc. Instead, they mainly feature animals, gods, geometric patterns, etc. The Indus Valley Civilization's military might have been weak or non-existent. Which may have been a reason for its later decline, as it was unable to withstand foreign invasion or its own instability. In terms of diplomacy, the Indus Valley Civilization had extensive trade contacts, not only exchanging goods and culture internally, but also with external civilizations, such as Mesopotamian Civilization, Egyptian Civilization, Afghanistan, Myanmar, and even ancient China. In trade transactions, various commodities were imported and exported, such as gold, silver, copper, lapis lazuli, turquoise, muscovite, ivory, etc., the Indus Valley Civilization's trading methods were probably carried out by land and sea routes, utilizing transportation methods such as bullock carts and boats. The trading partners of the Indus Valley Civilization may have communicated and negotiated through seals and writing. But the specific language and content remain unclear. The diplomatic relations of the Indus Valley Civilization were probably based on mutual benefit and friendship, and there were no incidents of conflict or hostility, reflecting its openness and tolerance to the outside world. In terms of culture, the Indus Valley Civilization had a unique religious belief and worshipped a variety of gods, the most important of which was a male god who may be one of the prototypes of Hinduism. He is usually depicted as having three faces and four hands, sitting on a bull surrounded by various animals and plants. The Indus Valley Civilization also worshipped a maternal deity, possibly Mother Earth or a fertility goddess, who was often depicted naked or semi-nude, wearing jewelry, holding various objects, and surrounded by various animals and plants. The Indus Valley Civilization also worshipped some natural phenomena, such as the sun, moon, fire, water, wind, etc., as well as some animals, such as cattle, elephants, fish, crocodiles, rhinos, etc. The religious beliefs of the Indus Valley Civilization may be related to its agricultural life and natural environment, reflecting its awe and prayer for life, fertility, harvest, disasters, etc. The script of the Indus Valley Civilization is an undeciphered script consisting of about 400 symbols, which may be a syllabic or ideographic script. It is used to inscribe on seals, pottery, bronzes, ivory ornaments and other items. It is usually short. The words may be some names, titles, dates, quantities, prayers, etc. 
The writing of the Indus Valley Civilization may be related to its religion, politics, economy, and society, but its specific meaning and function remain a mystery. In terms of art, the Indus Valley Civilization had a unique artistic style, which was reflected in its architecture, sculptures, paintings, pottery, etc. The buildings of the Indus Valley Civilization were centered on the Acropolis and were distributed in a grid pattern. There were municipal buildings, markets, workshops, storage areas, dwellings, temples, etc. The basic building materials were adobe bricks made from wood-burning kills. The planning and design of the building reflect its high degree of social organization and management capabilities, the sculptures of the Indus Valley Civilization are mainly bronzes and ivory ornaments, as well as some stone sculptures and clay sculptures. The themes of the sculptures include people, animals, gods, etc. The style of the sculptures reflects their true and detailed observation of nature and life, as well as their pursuit and creation of beauty. The paintings of the Indus Valley Civilization are mainly murals and pottery paintings, as well as some textile and wood paintings. The themes of the paintings include geometric patterns, animals, plants, characters, mythological stories, etc. The style of the paintings reflects its sensitivity to color and form, and mastery, and its sense and expression of harmony and balance. The pottery of the Indus Valley Civilization was mainly wheel-made pottery, but there were also some handmade pottery. The shapes of the pottery include bowls, plates, jars, pots, bottles, etc. The decoration of the pottery includes engraving, glaze coating, painting, etc. Next, let us talk about the development process and reasons for the decline of the Indus Valley Civilization. The overall process can be summarized as the following stages, Origin Stage, 3300 BC, 2600 BC The ancestors of the Indus Valley Civilization may have been the ancient Iranians who immigrated from what is now Iran. They had a common origin with the humans in northeastern Turkey, but they had a common origin before the emergence of agriculture. Already separated 3. They used irrigation systems and water conservancy projects to grow crops such as barley, wheat, cotton, melons and dates in the Indus River Basin, domesticated elephants, buffalo, zebu, shorthorn cattle, poultry, pigs, camels and other animals, and developed agriculture and livestock. They also produced various handicrafts such as pottery, bronzes, ironware, jewelry, and textiles, and established a system of weights and measures and a mysterious writing system that may have been used for business and management records and communications. They established many villages and small towns in the Indus River Basin, gradually forming the prototype of a civilization. Peak Stage, 2600 BC, 1900 BC the Indus Valley Civilization reached its peak during this period, and two large cities appeared, namely Mohenjo-daro and Harappa, which may be the centers of civilization. Or the capital, or they may be independent city, states 4. Both cities have elaborate urban planning and architecture, arranged in a grid pattern with municipal buildings, markets, workshops, storage areas, residences and temples, etc. The basic materials for construction are produced in wood-fired kills. Adobe There is an artificial mound in the center of the city, which may have been used for religious or political purposes. The residents of the city have a high degree of social organization and management capabilities, and have good drainage systems, neat and wide streets, and exquisite and spacious residences, marking the prosperity and progress of the early days of ancient Indian civilization. The trade of the Indus Valley Civilization was also very prosperous. It not only conducted extensive exchanges internally, but also conducted trade with external civilizations, such as Mesopotamian Civilization, Egyptian Civilization, Afghanistan, Myanmar and even ancient China. Various commodities were exported, such as gold, silver, copper, lapis lazuli, turquoise, muscovite, ivory, etc. The culture of the Indus Valley Civilization is also very unique. It has a unique religious belief and worships a variety of gods. The most important of them is a male god who may be one of the prototypes of Hinduism. 
He is usually depicted as having three faces. Four hands, sitting on a bull, surrounded by various animals and plants. The Indus Valley civilization also worshipped a maternal deity, possibly Mother Earth or a fertility goddess, who was often depicted naked or semi-nude, wearing jewelry, holding various objects, and surrounded by various animals and plants. The Indus Valley civilization also worshipped some natural phenomena, such as the sun, moon, fire, water, wind, etc., as well as some animals, such as cattle, elephants, fish, crocodiles, rhinos, etc. The script of the Indus Valley civilization is an undeciphered script consisting of about 400 symbols, which may be a syllabic or ideographic script. It is used to inscribe on seals, pottery, bronzes, ivory ornaments and other items. It is usually short. The words may be some names, titles, dates, quantities, prayers, etc. The art of the Indus Valley civilization is also very unique, reflected in its architecture, sculptures, paintings, pottery, etc., which reflect its true and meticulous observation of nature and life, as well as its pursuit and creation of beauty. Decline Stage, 1900 BC, 1300 BC The Indus Valley civilization began to decline during this period, which may be due to the influence of various factors, such as foreign invasion, earthquakes, droughts caused by climate change, or man-made ecological disasters, etc. The main reason may be climate change, which has led to soil degradation and water resource reduction in the Indus River Basin, affecting agricultural production and urban maintenance. The population of the Indus Valley civilization had to migrate to the east and south, and mixed with the local races and cultures, forming new cultures and societies, such as the colored gray pottery culture and the H. Tomb culture. The cities of the Indus Valley civilization were gradually abandoned, and the civilization collapsed. Its ruins were buried in the desert and sand, and were not rediscovered and studied until the 20th century. The Indus Valley civilization is a mysterious civilization. There are still many unsolved mysteries in its history and culture. It also had certain exchanges and influences with other civilizations. Such as Mesopotamian civilization, Egyptian civilization, Aryan civilization, etc. These make the Indus Valley civilization more colorful and profound. Dear viewers, thank you for watching and accompanying us. This is the video about world civilization that we bring to you today. We hope that through this video, you can understand the history, characteristics, achievements and influence of different civilizations, appreciate the beauty and diversity of different civilizations, think about the mutual exchanges and interactions of different civilizations, and reflect on different problems and challenges of civilization. We believe that civilization is the commonwealth of mankind and the common responsibility of mankind. We should respect and protect every civilization, promote and develop every civilization, and let the light of civilization illuminate our future. If you like this video, please give us a like and comment, and please also follow our channel, we will continue to bring you more interesting and useful videos. Thank you again for watching, see you next time.